In 2020, over 65% of Americans owned a house. Any financial planner will tell you that the house you live in is good debt. Studies show that children who live in homes do better in school, and you'll be building wealth. But what about the bad debt that you own? We discuss it in tonight's Money Talks. We've all heard the saying that when you drive a new car off the lot, you lose $5,000 instantly. But at some point, that vehicle's paid off, and you own that value, whatever it is. But what if you paid something off as it went up in value? I will say there is good debt and bad debt, right? Um, if, if you have a home, uh, you know a home, paying a home off is going to be an asset for you down the road. Um, that's going to give you a, a number of things. It's going to give you, you know, purchasing power as well uh, with, with equity and all of those different things. No matter what your salary is, if you can start saving 10% or even bump it to 15, then Rolandis Johnson says you will never be a slave to your bills. I've run across several situations where you've got somebody making you know, $30,000 a year and they have tons of money to invest because they don't owe anybody anything. And then you, you've got the same you know, on the other I, clients that are making $250,000, $300,000 a year and they have maybe $100 a month to invest because they got so much that they're trying to buy and banks are giving them money, just offering them money and, and they're taking it. The average American has over $5,000 in credit card debt. And that interest that you pay on that every month could be money that's invested or in your budget. Old credit cards, you never want to have you know, a too high of a, a balance of credit cards, things like that. Um, buying cars consistently. You know, if you, if you have an opportunity where you don't have debt, um, man, your personal finance down the road can look outstanding. And we Americans know how bad those car payments can be. So we are driving our cars even longer. The average age of a car on U.S. roads is now a little over 12 years, marking a new record. That's according to S&P Mobility that's continuing a five-year climb. Yeah, I know one thing me and my wife, are, we, we've become proud of now as a habit is when we get a car, we want to make sure we pay it off before we buy something else, right? The good debt and bad debt is going to depend on your personal situation, but I always tell my clients to invest in things or if you're going to buy things that are going to be an asset to you down the road. And so if, if you look at it that way in terms of assets and liabilities, then I think you'll have a more clear concept or clear outlook on what good debt and bad debt is. Okay, so how expensive are your vehicles? Well, the average monthly car payment for new cars in America, $648. The average monthly car payment for a used vehicle, $503. That seems like a lot to me. Leslie?